Hi guys, uh, I wanted to do a quick video on astro cartography and how um, it can help us with our trading um, in terms of knowing whether it's a, an elected president slash dictator uh, is going to be uh, bring positivity or negativity to that uh, uh, country over a period of uh, uh, time or during their uh, the time they're in uh, in power or alleged power um, <clears throat> we're going to take a look at Angela Merkel uh, we're going to take a look at Trump um, and we're going to take a look at Trudeau um, we'll start here with Trudeau Now, his main uh, dominance, Saturn, Neptune, Venus, uh, mainly Saturn, as he's a Capricorn. Capricorn's ruling planet is Saturn. Saturn, like I told you before, is responsible for um, rules, boundaries, restrictions, limits, etc. And that's exactly what we've had for the last, uh, well, most of our lives but uh, a lot uh, more in the last two years obviously <clears throat> so we see there saturn is his dominant when this happens this is how this person will be um, they will be uh, they will have saturn uh, energy about them um, if it's trump trump is about mars so he's got Mar, Mar sorry, this is Biden, uh, Trump. He's about uh, Martian energy. Uh, he's confident, uh, takes no prisoners. Uh, he'll screw people over, um, and that's 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 Mars. But relationship issues too. Um, and now we'll go and check Merkel. The uh, current uh, dictator um, over there is uh, Angela Merkel. Her name, uh, her uh, dominant is Neptune. Um, Neptune is about illusion, deceit, betrayal. Um, it's uh, responsible for the media to, um, <clears throat> And uh, we'll go on and have a look at that, bearing in mind, we're, so we're looking for Neptune for her, we're looking for Saturn for Trudeau, and we're looking for Mars for, uh, for Trump. Okay, <clears throat> so we'll take a look at the map here. All right, here it is. This is Trudeau. This is where he was born, Ottawa. And uh, at the time he was born, Saturn was path through the sky was over here. Now how this works is the west of the line, it's the strongest. But if you're close on the east, you'll still uh, notice and feel an impact. Um, he conveniently lives near his dominant planet, which is Saturn, the brown one. This was the path that was traveling in the sky on the day he was born. He is under 900 kilometers to the west, because from Ottawa to Montreal, it's about 200, and up here, it's another 250. So he's within the, uh, the area. This is... This is just something I wanted to point out. Another coincidence, perhaps. Um, let's move over now to Trump. Trump, reminder, look, Mars. Oh, and what do we have here? Mars, New York. And he's always messing around in Florida, too, as we know. So he's got this whole area covered by only Mars. That's why he's been so powerful in this area. 
for that uh, his his entire stay uh, or span of life since uh, since we've known about this guy. Um, next, Merkel. We remembered it was Neptune. Here she is. Look, Neptune. Let's find out. Neptune. Ah, isn't that a surprise? So she is extremely good at uh, deceiving people, putting them under an illusion, um, betraying them, etc. So just figured I'd point that out. None of this is a coincidence. It's all by design. Um, these 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 characters um, are acting out uh, as they should be naturally in real life but they're following a script um, <clears throat> and the script plays into this um, for example um, Biden's about to go through issues in his natal chart we'll see that coming up soon uh, I wanted to show you one more thing here this is how to get an idea on a busy day, uh, a quiet day, or if you're going to get a good day with, uh, if you're a waitress, you're going to get lots of tips or a waiter, lots of tips, uh, or, uh, or to know whether you're going to have a bad day. How, um, for example, or how busy it's going to be is the best, best way to use this. Um, <clears throat> If you can line it up with busy and the high high Venus energy, then you're gonna you're gonna be a good uh, make some money as a waitress or a waiter that day. Uh, any other example you can you can find, uh, you can play around with this. Uh, but what we know is here it's the 14th. We've had everything, well not everything, but most of the uh, the planets have been retrograding for months now. Um, when they're retrograding, they're, they, they need maintenance as they travel through the sky. They have to have maintenance as the new moon, when the, when the full moon dies, a new moon forms later on. And this is the maintenance of what the Earth has to do to the planets. Imagine the, uh, the whole compost heap giant compost heap when, when the leaves land on the ground they they rot and they go through the earth the earth absorbs them and uh, then um, we have the same thing in the sky too they need it needs uh, it goes further than that obviously we could talk about after after what happens with the leaf well that's just another video altogether but in the planets it's the same deal they have to get maintained so they retrograde when they're retrograding, they're not as powerful, obviously. The energy is slowed. That's why sometimes you feel lethargic, and other days you have lots of energy. Some days you want to send emails, call all your friends, and other days you can't be bothered. Well, that's all in, in here. And you'll know which days that's going to be before when you study this. Uh, you'll know which days people are going to be more acceptable. If you were uh, doing a sales call, for example, uh, there's thousands of examples. Anyway, what, what we got here is we see everything's red. We'll go, uh, go back a few days here. So Saturn was red. All right, now, bang. Saturn is was red, retrograding for ages, and now all of a sudden it's powerful. What's happening, we're seeing now more restrictions happening all over again. Why? Because the government's getting, uh, getting more powerful again, because they are Saturn. Uh, or Satan. <clears throat> um, now, as that's ended the retrograde, things have picked up a bit, though, at the same time. It's got busier uh, in, uh, in different uh, uh, um, uh, work uh, industries. Uh, now, let's go forward a bit to Jupiter. It's on the 16th. 17th, 16th, 17th. There it is. Right, Jupiter ends its retrograde finally on the 17th. This is uh, about freedom, peace, prosperity, liberation. Uh, so we're going to start seeing this happen, which is good. We'll start seeing energy pick up, but there'll be clashes with the with Saturn because the people want to move on now 
in a in a freedom orientated direction but the government doesn't want to do that they they have other intentions for us um but when this happens you'll see it's going to start getting busier so these are this is the time when you can do more hours at work when things are getting busier because you're it'll be more productive there's no point in doing 12 hour day of work if you've only got two hours worth to do you know um anyway just wanted to show you that that's uh, that's what i've noticed and it really really works amazingly you can you can even write down um let's say you see there'll be a high love energy day you'll go and sit in a park and you can watch squirrels and they'll be playing with one another um and other days, if it's high Mars day or high Pluto day, they'll be fighting. And it, it happens like clockwork. I watch it all the time. Anyway, uh, just thought I'd leave you guys with that. Uh, what are we doing here? We're still waiting for this Euro Aussie. We're going up. So that's good there. I'll, uh, I'll post another video uh, about that later. Anyway, thanks a lot. Cheers.